If your site has Excel services enabled, you will be able to add the Excel web access web part directly onto a page. This web part will allow you to show an Excel spreadsheet live on a page where people could even interact with it and refresh it for the most up-to-date data. Now, for this to work, you need to have the file saved into a SharePoint library and you need to have Excel services installed and activated for your site. IT or uh, the admin will take care of the Excel services part. You'll just need to upload the file as long as the first part is taken care of. So I've created a call center data web page and I'm going to go ahead and edit it and we'll put in this Excel uh, web access viewer. If you go to insert and you go and click web part, you'll find it in the business data section. So you can see here is Excel web access. So we clicked web part, we went to business data, there it is, and I click add. Now it's going to put this web part in, but of course nothing's going to happen because it doesn't know what you want it to show. So you can even just click here to open the tool pane or edit web part. Either way, it's going to open up the edit web part option on the far right. Now for your workbook, we're going to click the little three dots which will open up a page where you're going to have to go and find your file. So I'm going to go and find my file. I know I placed it in the Project X library. And in the Project X library, there is call center data. So you just find the file you want, click it, you'll see the URL show up down at the bottom, and you can click Insert. Now, as you're going through this, there's a lot of settings you can apply, a lot of things you can change. So at the bottom of this web part, there is an Apply option that you can click to get an idea of what you're looking at. You kind of see how it looks. So that's not too bad, but it's not the greatest thing so far. Like it's a small little web part uh, on the left-hand side. Now it also will automatically resize. So if we wanted to kind of see what it looks like without doing anything else to it, I can click OK to the web part and click Save on the web page, and you'll see not the end of the world, but it's not too bad. But you know, you can move around it, but of course, I need more space for this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and click page, edit, and I'm going to edit the web part a little bit more. Now one of the things you can do is if in your Excel spreadsheet you have created a named item, which is one of those named ranges or an alias, you can use that up here. So I created one called chart, and I could say, I want you to show me chart. Now it's not too bad, but you can see up here, view suddenly, we have chart as one option, but we have some other things as well. So it's trying to do a little bit of a better job, it's still not all that great, but we're, we're making it work to some extent. So you can have your web part uh, use a named item if you want. Down below, you'll see a whole bunch of other options. Auto-generate web part title, so it's auto-generating. Uh, URL as well, which you'll click and it'll take you to the file. Uh, if you want the, that to be turned off, we're going to be able to just turn off the Chrome type in a few seconds. Uh, down below, you'll also see the full toolbar and you'll see the different commands. If you don't want people to be able to open, the file in Excel, you just want them to look at it, you can uncheck that. If you don't want them to be able to refresh connections, you can uncheck that. Named item drop down list, that gives us this right here, so we could choose that or not. So I scroll on down, you'll see navigation, do I want hyperlinks, do I want all workbook interactivity. You can allow people to type and formula entry so they can actually add stuff to the sheet live right here. That's unchecked for a pretty much a good reason, because you don't want them messing with stuff. And you can turn on and off other things here. So if you want them to be able to interact with the pivot table and pivot chart, that's great. They can click slicers and stuff like that. If you want them to actually be able to modify the pivot table itself, you could check the button down here. 
So you go through and you check what you want. Then in appearance, you can give it a name, and here's where interesting stuff happens. Notice there's a height and a width. It always likes it to be 400 pixels high, and then the width is whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to actually, for this web part, try to kind of guesstimate it until I can get it to work the size I need it to be to see what I want people to see. So if I try to make this a thousand pixels wide by maybe 500 pixels tall, and I come down here and click apply, you'll see how I'm now getting more of my spreadsheet here. So that's pretty good. That actually looks really good. I could even come back a little bit. Doesn't need to be a thousand, doesn't necessarily need to be 500. So I can come down here now and let's say, okay, well let's try it at 450 and 800. And you can just play with the numbers until you get what you want it to be. Uh, and eventually you're gonna say okay to all this. I was just a hair off, but that'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. And here is my Excel web access web part. I can actually click things and interact with it. So it needs to be like 840 pixels wide. Uh, and you can do all sorts of cool things with it if you want. So this is a great tool to have interactivity on a web page without you having to do anything really overly difficult. You create the Excel spreadsheet, you set it up and put it into a library, then insert this web part, and once it's inserted, configure it a little bit, and then people will have access to it. One final thing though, remember, the permissions to the file also need to be the same as the permissions to the page. So for some reason it's in a, uh, a, a broken permissions library where not everyone has access, people would click the page and actually not have access to the file. So you wanna make sure that the, people are going to have access who need to have access to the file for the web part.